Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So as a part of this video, I'm going to talk about find element method in Selenium. This video is going to be my tools video on my playlist Selenium. As a part of this video, I'm only going to talk about find element. So let's get started. If you have already seen my other videos of my Selenium playlist, you will be knowing that to inspect any kind of element, we have locators to locate the element, but there are methods which help us to locate the element. And those two methods in Selenium are find element and find elements. Now, what is find elements? I'm not going to talk about in this video, but I'm going to talk about find elements in the next video. In this video, I'm only going to talk about what is find element in Selenium. Find element uniquely identify your web element present in any web application. Let's talk about Flipkart application or Amazon application, amazon.com. If you have any web application in which multiple components are there, let's talk about they have, they have username text field, they have password text field. So your find element, now find element here is a method or a command. Just understand now in this way. Now your find element is a method which is used to uniquely identify your web elements present in your web application. Let's say that now with the help of the locator that I'm trying to identify my web application, it has cached multiple components. That is, there is a possibility that I'm trying to find out my particular text field with a particular name. But there are chances that my web application component are consisting of the same name. In that case, my find element will give me the first matching element. Or let's say the locator that you are trying to use is a name locator. Now there are chances that there are multiple components are composed of a same name. In that case, your find element will give you the first matching element or first matching element it will give you. In case, whatever the locator name is given, if the element is not found, then it will show no such element exception. This is one of the interview questions that they can ask you. Then it will give you the exception, which is called as no such element exception. Now, I don't just want to talk about theoretically, but I want to show you practically. Now, if you see my script that I have written here, let's not go the way like how I have written the automation script here. But what it is, I will tell you now. What I'm trying to do is I'm launching a Chrome browser and then I'm trying to get into the Amazon.in. Then I'm trying to enter my username, which is my this mail ID, and I'm trying to click on the continue button. This is the automation script I've written. Now, how I've written, you need not worry. I'm just trying to show you something. If I launch this, you can see that it is launching a Chrome driver. It is launching a Chrome browser. It is entering Amazon.in and it is clicking on my sign in the sign in button and then it is entering my mail id and it is clicking on the continue button this is what i had automated but let's see that if you see here i had automated to click on the continue button right if you guys just saw but let's see that instead of this continue i will write something else which is not existing i just told you a few minutes back that using find element if it is not able to identify the elements or locate the element with the locator that it is given to you it will show some exception which is no such element exception if you run it now you could see that it will launch a chrome driver chrome browser it will go to the amazon.com it will click on the sign in button it will enter my mail id but, but it will not click on the continue button because it will not click on this continue button if you can see here the reason is I have given the locator address wrong. And I just said you that in case I'm giving a wrong locator address, it will give me no such element exception, which is here. This is one of the important interview question that they can ask you anytime. Now I want you guys to understand how to write find element or the syntax of find element. If you see here, the find element the argument of my find elements is my by class. This by is my class. Now this by class can in turn take any kind of locators that you have. You have seven types of locators, right? That I've already spoken in this video. It takes all the locator here to identify your elements. So my find element 
take the argument as by class and by by class can take any kind of locator that you have and the return type of this find element is a web element that means the return type the element that it read that it gives is of the type of web element so you can write web element any any anything you can write it here e let's say so the return type of my find element is my web element and that can be stored in e now earlier you were trying to click on this return type here only since you have stored your return type in e now you have to perform the action or you have to write the method here earlier what you were doing you were just writing driver dot find element and then you were locating your elements and then you were trying to click on that but now the return type of my find element you are storing in your web element and that is e and now you are trying to click on that that is e dot click so this is how you should write a find element syntax i hope this video was useful in case yes please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by mkt and please share this video with any friends in case of any kind of doubt put out all your doubt in the comment section want to reach to me out i have added my quora account twitter account gmail account instagram account telegram account all my account in the link description please check it out in case you want the program that i have written here let me know with your gmail id in the comment section and i will be for forwarding this whole program directly to your mail id thank you guys see you in the next video in the next video i will be talking about find elements till then stay tuned thank you guys